Well, Jason, I've been having a rough time of it this campaign season. I've noticed. Now it seems my bad luck is seeping into my personal affairs as well as my private. A few years ago, I uh, enticed a few unsavory individuals to set up shop in the neighborhood I had my sights on. Once I bought up most of the property, at a quarter of the price, mind you, Frank made it clear to Los Picantos that they had to go. But these folks are nothing if not stubborn. They won't leave. I got an accountant authorized to make a few deals and negotiations on my behalf, meeting with these guys later, cause I really can't afford a turf war in this area right now. So where do I come in? I need you to make sure this thing goes smoothly. And if they don't go smoothly, I need you to make sure my guy gets out of there alive. Head to the meeting spot, scope it out, make sure no double crossing or triple crossing or whatever the fuck goes down. All right, yeah, sure. You're in Polly's playground now. 87, 8 to 93. 87, 8. Do you feel the need for speed? This is NASCAR legend Speedy Dalton, and I'm ready to get your heart out of neutral and into fifth gear. That's right, old Speedy is out of jail and in the wedding business. So if you're looking to get hitched in record-breaking time, head on down to my all-new wedding track. When I saw her across the room, I just knew this is the woman I want to spend the next seven months of my life with. Thanks to Speedy, we were legally bound before she sobered up. I met a hot stud at the bar that I wanted to take back to my room and ride like a stallion. But he told me he was waiting for marriage. With Speedy's help, that wait didn't last long. Neither did the sex. Good minute. 
couple of snipers were in position, but I took them out. Who were they working for? No idea. All right, well, uh, keep an eye on things. I'm sending my boy in. If things go south and he gets killed, you might as well put a bullet in your own brain because you are a dead man. Come on, guys. Wrap it up already. Ah, oh, shit! Ah, oh, shit! Got the rest. Things went bad, but you guys okay. And what about our friend? Uh, I kind of took him out. How many? Like, uh, all of them? Damn, son! Maybe that'll put the fear of God in him, and they'll take a hint. And in about 12 months, I'll be watching the value of my property go up and up and up. You can just go ahead and give me my share now if you want. <laughs> Yo, yeah. <laughs> you all right, kid? You all right?
nuts that kicked my ass to the curb. Said I smelled like a septic tank? Whatever! I am a tank! Step into my ring, man! Don't get aggro! Get whooped up ducky! The only rubber duck. No one drinks them, but that's what makes them cool. God. Ronnie's rule number two. Drive west on Highway 9. Jason, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Everything okay, Ben? This is probably my last day alive, so uh, I just want to state for the official on the record and such that uh, Frank did wrong by you. What are you talking about, last day alive? Frank told me to hit up some supply drops and stashes, right? From some of the other families and outfits running around Vegas. So I got a guy following their couriers around. Problem is, that if my guy's tailing the couriers, no one's actually picking up what they're dropping off. Don't worry, Ben. I'll help you out. Oh, you're the best. I'll text you the locations. zone in western Las Vegas. Gang leaders associated with Los Picantes have been spotted at the scene. 
Police are urging residents and visitors to stay clear of Western Las Vegas until the area is secured. And as Police Chief Ralph Watkins put it, quote, the trash is taken out. More as the situation progresses.
was a saga, wasn't it? I'm glad we could all go through that together. And now that we're all together again, I've got something important that I need to chat with you about. The club is a dirty place. Sometimes after a night of dancing, I leave smelling of cigarettes and beer. Sometimes I leave covered in the sweat of strangers. I need to wash off, but I don't want the party in to stop, you know? Lucky for me, there's the one duck duck. The rubber ducky that's jacked up with speaker so I can wash my something something while the room is quaking and bumping. You should go get one. And no, they didn't pay me money to say that. I just love it. Really, I do. I'm serious. And it... Jay, seriously, thanks. I won't forget this. Sure, Ben. Uh, come on, you drive. I, uh, I gotta finish working on something. You seem nervous, Ben. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just trying to finish putting this thing together, and uh, I don't know. I'm just not great with explosives. Wait, what? That's a bomb? I told you, we're gonna blow up a trailer park. With that? That thing looks like an eggplant. Plastic. Old school. Don't worry. I think I got it all hooked up right. What did Frank tell you to do? That guy you kidnapped finally spilled his beans. So Frank tells me, Benny, you dumb shit. The huevos are meeting in the Street of Dreams trailer park. I want you to crash the party. Gotcha. So I'm what? Protection? No, uh, you're like a, a diversion. You're gonna set up this here explosive and... What? It's ticking. What? Throw it out the window! Throw it out the window! Wait, no. It's my watch. Anyway, you're gonna set this explosive up in front. When you trigger it, Los Huevos will be running around all startled and confused like that. You take them out, right? Meanwhile, I'm sneaking the back and I'm stealing this package. So, there's a package. Yeah, yeah, there's this package we gotta get. It's supposed to lead us to whoever's supplying Los Huevos behind Frank's back or something. Fine. Set up them charges by that post over there. Hold them off till I give you a ring. They're probably packing assault rifles, so uh, try not to get shredded into a pile of bloody coleslaw.
Yeah. Okay. We're, uh, we're good. Meet me around back. Let's go. We gotta be frank. You drive. Turn the air on. It is on. What's the matter with you? Everything's all tight like. Feels like I'm underwater. I don't know. Ask Bobby just the chili dogs I have for breakfast. Keep driving. I gotta ask you something. Shoot. You ever, like, wake up in the middle of the night and, like, Feel like you you got ghosts on all sides of you, trying to smother you with pillows and whatnot? Hmm, can't say I do, Ben. I was reading this book the other day, about, like, people who are connected to the spirit world and whatnot. And they got, like... The hell was that? Huh? There's someone in the trunk. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, the package. You didn't tell me the package was a person. You didn't ask. So yeah, I'm reading this book, and you wouldn't believe what actually happened when you turn off the light. Benny, who's back there? The person who was dealing with huevos. Someone Frank's not happy with, that's all that matters. So, I'm reading this book by this spirit medium lady, and she's like... Oh, forget it. Just drive! The Knife, 87, 8. Okay, rockers, it's the time of day when we hit the phones and take calls from you, our loyal listeners. Let's see what sick things are happening in your minds. What's happening? Hey, this is the place. Stop the car. Pop the trunk, will you? Vera, I'm here. Search the hangars.
Not here. Did you find her? No. If they did bring her here, they're gone now. Damn. All right, listen. Meet with E-Man. He might be able to help out. All right. Lay low for now. I'll be in touch. You heard about Karen. Vera gave me the deets. If we're gonna find the Pink Lady, we need to get all tactical and shit. What do you mean? This is a job for whispering wires. According to my sources, they got a whole slew of them stockpiled at the airfield. Whispering wires? You know, those electric hound dogs that can find anyone. We'll use them to find our girl. Oh, you're talking like high-tech espionage stuff. Nice. Only problem is, they're on a military airfield. It's not gonna be exactly easy for us to sneak in there. You'll be the one to sneak in. If the brace see my face, we might get caught up reminiscing, so just keep me on speaker and I'll give you directions. Are you telling me you used to be in the army? I'm not telling you anything. Just that we all get our start somewhere. All right. I can't see this going wrong. E-Man, you there? Huh? Yeah, yeah, um, I'll just be catching a few Z's while you drive, so wake me up when you need me. Chuck D. Baster. Now, Chuck 
Maester, as I'm sure all my listeners know, released two instantly classic LPs before succumbing to paranoia, locking himself in a shack in the Badlands of Montana and declaring himself the king of Basteronia, a small sovereign nation, population one. As a result, we haven't heard anything from Chucky since 1974, but while rummaging through some used record bins at an estate sale last month, I stumbled across a rare gem something? Damn it, Ina. I need a diversion. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, what's all that noise? It's the army. The kind of piss that I'm here. Why didn't you wake me up? Uh, go to the hangar. Our gizmos will be there. Be more. But the music never gets old. I'm in. Where's the tech? Uh, somewhere in the back, from what I remember. over. Negative. You got a lot more army guys closing in on your position. You, you might want to grab some wheels.
direction. I'm in a tank. Good choice. Driving a tank into Vegas seems like a bad idea. Yeah, well, you might want to ditch the death machine. commercials and news reports can cause. We're dedicated to fighting liberal guilt wherever it may occur. If you or someone you know is suffering from liberal guilt, please give us a call, because no one should have to face the inconvenient reality of their existence alone. The LWG Foundation. The truth hurts, but it shouldn't have to. 98.4. It's all blazing in the hood! Hey, it's your man Heavy Ben on the hood. Let's take a call. You on the air. Benjamin, this is your cardiologist, Dr. Richter. Dr. Rick, hell yeah. You like hip hop? What's your favorite jam? Yes, I find this music offensive and crude. Your mother would be ashamed. You don't know what my mama thinks, dog. I heard the fast food bags earlier, Benjamin. You're eating those double flubby bubbles again, aren't you? What did we talk about? No, man. Are you lying to your doctor right now, Benjamin? I, uh... Do you honestly think I'm going to fall for that? I am a doctor. I think I'm losing you, Doc. More with heavy men as it is. Thanks for coming to get me. So what's next? Next? I'm gonna go back to that nap you interrupted. You just wait for my call.
Kid, we got a problem. Is Karen okay? How should I know? She's been kidnapped by a megalomaniac mobster. A mobster whose next move is to take out a mousy accountant. What's Frank got against accountants? Well, this accountant worked for Frank. The FBI tapped her to testify against him in an ongoing RICO case. They're deposing her tomorrow at the courthouse. I'm sure Frank's planning on sending Little Miss Numbers to her grave. We don't have time for this. Finding Karen's gotta be our top priority. Listen, crumb cake, I get it. You got moon eyes for Karen. Here's the thing. I don't think Karen would be happy about you letting someone get killed just so you can sit around and pout. Especially when saving this particular person would ruin Frank's day. I need you to get over to the courthouse this afternoon and keep Frank's guys from getting inside and disrupting the deposition. released a statement confirming that the use of this tank is not part of a planned publicity stunt, and no permit was issued recently allowing a tank to drive on public streets. Shortly after it was spotted, the tank disappeared, leaving locals both dismayed and curious. Some are suggesting extraterrestrial involvement. We'll bring you more details concerning the mystery of the missing tank as the mystery unfolds. Here we go. How's it going? Vera? These cops are useless. Big surprise there. Will you chip in if I order a pizza later? A uh, little busy, Vera. Oh, yeah, well, keep me posted.
Good work. The deposition went on as planned. Great. Look, we gotta attack Frank from all sides. I'm gonna get it back, Vera. I know it, kid. Took a look at the army gadgetry you picked up for me. Found Karen? Even the moon has phases, just like our plan. Before we plug in the techno, we gotta bug up on Frank's phone. You mean like, tap Frank's phone? No, no, no. It's the digital signal we want. The one that's all around us, right now. Deep within the clicks and bumps of that signal, there's a GPS trace. So if we can get Karen on Frank's cell, more or less, but the clicks and hums are a language. The military gizmo helps us hear the language, but to know what it's saying, we need a translator. So, take my phone. All the muscle has to do is get to the antenna at the top of an electronics factory. Open the circuit box, plug in phone, press five, wait for wires to transmit a program. I'll be outside on lookout. Sending karma. Let's find some wheels. Day when I get to give away a couple free concert tickets. Today we've got two general admission passes to Rosie Palm and the Fast Five. Playing this for breaking news. A rowdy group of protesters gathered outside the Clark County Courthouse earlier today to speak out against the federal deposition of Beth Bukowski, former accountant of local businessman and all-around wonderful human being, Frank Veliano. Words quickly turned to gunfire, however, and the police were called to the scene. Bukowski claims to have... <laughs> Got an ID, buddy?
Hopefully, standing this close to an antenna doesn't have any adverse side effects. Head on down there and pick out a new friend. And if you're in need of a different kind of comp uh, 92.2. Oi, oi! It's a very special day for your favorite dubstep DJ. You see, it's the two-year anniversary since I came to this fantastic country from my native land of England. And it is not disappointed. America has provided me with so many blondes, redheads, brunettes. So I say hooray to America, and hooray to having a charming English accent. City Beats will be deployed in three, two, one. 92.2. This is 92.2 The Dub Factory, and up next is Bad Machine by Nostalgia. Check it out! Here you go. Hope this worked. Lawrence! I got a few T's to dot, a few I's to cross. Uh, meet me at the airport when you're ready for the next phase.
Good, good. You made it. Hop in. Whose chopper is this? No idea. Mm, come on. In order to pinpoint the location of the frequency, we need to triangulate the... You know, just... just you're gonna have to plant a few fancy devices in a few places and then get Frank on the line with this phone and get confirmation that he's in the same physical space as Karen. Can you do that? I can do that. Great! First stop, top of the wrecking ball. Oh, and here, put this in your ear so I can whisper sweet nothings into your brain from afar. Okay, get out. What do you mean, get out? Here, take the parachute. Come on, go, go, go. 